Hello, Rockers and Mercurians. Rock Mercury here. Welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. Um, I am having a sandwich that I haven't closed yet, but we have some more bullio bread. Bullio? Bullio? The fresh baked bread. We have some more fresh baked bread. And I thought I was going to just have like a little like leftover sandwich with the sauteed mushrooms and onions my sister made. So... I just toasted myself. It's not as good as hers yesterday. Like, I can already tell. It's not going to be, like, giving what it gave yesterday. But, you know, it's still cute. And it's going to destroy my beard still. I come back from the grocery store. It's a little bit of a dreary day today. A little bit of, like, a... It's, like, cloudy outside. Like, it's about to really storm. I can see it storming. But I don't know if it's going to actually storm, but it just seems like it's going to. Let's get into this sandwich. Um... It's so thick. I don't know if I can bring my mouth around it. Oh my gosh. That's what he said and she said and they all said. Mmm. Okay. Alright. That's pretty good. Not as good as yesterday because I, I think I missed something in there. But still a very good sandwich. Not mad at it at all. Some pomegranate juice. Got another deal on it today. Dollar off. I was like, I'm gonna get it again. Why not? Mm -mm -mm. From. It's been a beautiful day. One of the Christmas gifts came in. I'm super excited for the for the recipient to get it. Let's see what they think. I love that we live in an era now where Christmas gifts get delivered to your door instead of you having to go to the mall and stand in line forever and fight against people on Black Friday. We did all our Black Friday shopping online. Mm -mm. Gone are the days. They gotta elbow somebody's grandmother for a toaster oven. No more of that. Wow, August. Maybe I have something to say about that, what I just said. You guys like my shirt? It's Kermit the Frog. Kermit, Kermit, Kermit. It says Believer on the side. I'm a dreamer. It said dreamer, not believer, dreamer. Very different than believing. Believing and dreaming, not the same. Not the same at all. You have to believe in yourself, and then you have to have a dream. And what if your dream is to believe? You know, that's why it's different. Anyway, this shirt's cute. And I used to love the movies that they used to do, the, the Muppet, Muppet movies. I used to be confused on the difference between Sesame Street and the Muppets. When I was younger. Not anymore. My sister shavely said, am I still confused about that? No, because they both have puppets. Well, they're different puppets. They're whole different worlds. Different you have Miss yes. Piggy. Yes. Hmm? It's different worlds, the same frame. I mean, I think the, the, Muppets, the Muppets are like much more adult than Sesame Street. Like they have much more adult themes. Yeah. You know? Miss Piggy is a mess. Hot. A hot mess. She makes the whole show. She is the whole show, to be honest. Let's be real. Where, where would the show be at on Miss Piggy? Boring. Mm. Oh, well, that's a mess. Yes, my sister tried to starve me today. So... Only breakfast and only made me the stuff to make the sandwich too. You decided to be at the gym for how many hours? You said eight and you came back. Came back. She wasn't calling me out for going for being at the gym and working on my body. Yeah, but that's I was studying. I went to the store and sat in traffic. That's really where I was going. I, I choose to only go to the nice, the nice H E B. 
And I went in school time and I ended up in traffic for a long time. I actually wasn't at the gym that long, unfortunately. I love the gym. Hmm? Traffic is terrible. I don't want to ever do a job where I have to go somewhere. You know? I've done enough of that, done enough of that in my life. But it was still fun. Like, it was nice to be out and about. And I like, I like going to this grocery store. I saw the hottest guy there. As always. That's why you like No, not the only reason. I don't talk to them, I didn't see them. It was so hot, you guys. He was like a good spirited person too. Probably like 25. He was blonde. I'm not the only blonde guys. I'm, not, I'm into like a lot of types, but he's super tall, taller than me. Um, just crazy hot. It's insane. I was there to get my groceries, but anyway, I kept running into him. I was like, oh my god, run into me again. Oh my god, Holly Joe's in the house. Hey, Holly Joe. She says hello, hello, Holly Joe. Eating a sandwich while I'm getting thirst shamed by my sister. No shame. <laughs> mm. My mom has a, a hot young co worker that's like 21. And I told her that he's mine. And she said, He ain't think about you. I said, You're a hater. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. And my sister said, I can't find nobody out here because all the people here are straight. In this area. In this area, she said, but I'd beg to differ no, at the gym. Area, I said for yeah, that's true. That part's true. You know, it's like that small town vibe. Mm -hmm. people, it's like you're scared for like your family and the people you grew up around and all that stuff. It's like it's too close to home. So yeah. That's why people can, like migrate to the bigger cities and stuff where there's a higher population because they're all trying to escape their small town families. So they can just be themselves, you know? I feel bad for the closeted people. Mom? Who's that? Mom? Oh my god, it's mom. I was just on the phone with her. She said she was heading home soon. That's like really soon. You're, you must have been already been, maybe she was in that community nearby. Yeah. Happy to see you, mama. It's so nice to be around mama every day. I really like, I don't know, looking back, I'm thankful. Oh, oh, guess what happened, honey? Did he close his finger into the into the container? He just wants his grandma. Oh, on the container? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holly Joe said, "Mom." Mm-hmm. My mama. Yeah. I feel like I should have never moved away from my family. I'm glad I did because I can you got to like understand the difference. But family is so important that I'll never get that time back. You know, looking back at it, it's like Hollywood isn't worth it, you know? Like you wanna spend all the time you can with your family you have until it's too late, you know? Um, we lost so much family last last few years. We lost so many people. Oh my gosh, I can't even like it's just my my, my heart is numb. I can't even like it's just so many losses, loss after loss, and so it's just like you gotta be thankful for who you have. But I feel like school teaches like oh, like people say like oh you gotta be independent, you gotta go away, go out into the world. It's like for what? There's villages who stay with each other their whole like their whole lives, you know, like they stay in the same village. That's where they live. They live, die, and eat together and everything. They do everything together. Holly Joe says, oh, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry, Holly Joe. I'm so sorry to hear that. I bet your mother was amazing like you. I bet she was. And that's a hard fact too, that's a hard part. It's like, we don't know how long we have the people we love. So I'm just, I'm just thankful. Like, I spend so much time alone, which, you know, you think is like, oh, you're being independent, you're away, but it's, the world is a cold world out there. 
Um, and you can try to make like a fake family. Like if you like, like I understand if you don't have family at all, then you have to make a family for sure. But like some, like if you do have a family, you try. To, you're, it's never gonna be. It's never gonna be um. Like, the same as your real family. But you know what I mean. Like if you like if you try to make it if you have one already. But if you don't have one, then it's not. It won't matter then, cause you have to whatever you have is better than nothing. You know. I think it makes sense. I don't know. That probably sounded not coherent. Um, Holly Joe says she taught me how to be a lady. Oh, you're a great lady, Holly Joe. Heart. She put hard eyes, hard eyes. Oh my god, I'm burping from this food and the drink. Um, but yeah, like that's beautiful. It's beautiful to have. You gotta have somebody teach you to be a lady. You know. My mom taught me how to be a lady too. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, what? Uh -oh. Oop. I'm so thankful I didn't go. There was one point in time where I was like, thought I'd be interested in going like, the, I guess the drag route in a way, like when I was younger. I was so thankful I didn't do that because I'm so not interested in drag anymore. I just appreciate femininity for what it is, but I don't need to put any, any dress on or anything. Like I'm just not for it anymore. Um, I don't think I ever was gonna really do it for it. I don't, I don't, was that gonna do it? No. My impression is that you were just for ways to express yourself because you were fostered at the time. I think she's right. She said I was looking for ways like to express you myself. Yeah, I thought the LGBT world, you have to like be drag and stuff. Because I think what you really wanted was freedom. I wanted freedom. Now I have freedom. That's just what I think. I think you're wrong. I think you're right. Well... I was so foolish. I was like closeted even to my sister. My sister was running the the, the LGBT alliance at, her, at, the, at our school. We went to we went to together. She started and ran it. Started is important because I got really heavily bullied for that. She got bullied for supporting the LGBT world. Meanwhile, I'm still I was so closeted at the time. Isn't that crazy? Well, it's like hi, mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too early. He's, you wearing that? At Christmas, my my mom is wearing her Santa her Santa Claus hat. Yeah. No, I had to leave unexpectedly, so to deal with this time issue. So uh -oh. that caused me to miss out on all that stuff that I have to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at this sandwich, you guys. Is it early tomorrow? Is today Monday? Like early Monday. Monday. It must be Monday. Or just staying. Hey, did you use? Um, That's how good this is. Did you use two packs of? That's why it was very mild. Oh, scary, you want to say salty. No. Oh, two packs of the, the Hidden Valley Ranch? Yeah. Okay, Ranch so. There's that bacon in there. Mine, you, mine, you, mine, you might want to use some of that bacon. You know, so there's a new pack in there. Wait, so it doesn't go bad or something. Oh, you're not going to have fun? Oh, that's right. Yeah, she needs to have fun. Or a snack. I'm just saying, like, at some point, you got to use that. The bacon that was open cooked? Um, yeah, it was because it was too, it was, you know. It's gonna dry out. So parents made it for me, and it and it was very dried out. But I ate it. S somebody in my live said that it looked like cardboard. <laughs> it was. I ate it. I ate every bite of it. I ate every bite, so I didn't waste it. It's expensive. That bacon. Um, Stephen Duke says, "I was so surprised when I was a kid and realized people were judgmental towards that community." Wow. What a pure soul you are, Steven, to not realize that. But now that I'm like so confident and out, like nobody can tell me nothing. Ain't nobody can tell me nothing. I'm invincible. But yeah, it was very judgmental back then. That was the main diss people would say. Oh, you're so G A Y. You're so damn. I can't say it on here because you know TikTok. Anything you say, they're like bam, 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 bam. I know for real. Poor, poor Terry, Terry Joe yesterday. Well, not poor her because she definitely said some things that were very <laughs> offensive. There was like a group of people. There was like one black guy and two two white friends that were in in this group, and they, she went live. She brought them on live, and she, she called him. She called him a coloring book. I'll say to say a nice word, but without the coloring and with the ED instead. And then, but she. But by the way, if you know Terry Joe, Terry Joe is a, is a comedian, and she's very much so black, or he's black as the man. 
Um, so it was, it was comedy, but he went too far and said the N-word, and then within minutes, TikTok shook, shut the whole thing down. <laughs> oh, and Terry Joe's one of the most followed people on here. Terry Joe has like at least 11,000 people on at a time. Like, I may get 11,000 over the whole live, but Terry Joe is like, I love watching Terry Joe. Terry Joe will like, will hold that many people, like the whole time will say like 10,000 on the top. I was cracking up laughing. I'm like, dang it, I think, I think TikTok should make an exception for Terry Joe because it's a character and it's, it's like, it's, yeah. it's parody. You know, it's a parody. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Sandwich. Yeah. Stephen Duke says, his lip is red. Stephen Duke says, it's because my great aunt and grandma were both um, L LGBT, the L part of LGBT. Can I just say that? They're both living the vida loca. And, um, and I want, and I went to a LGBTQ church. Oh my goodness, Stephen, Stephen, um, dude, that's amazing. So you're telling me that after all that, you still, you still ain't a, a, a homosexual? That's still not what you are, Stephen. I thought I thought we were gonna convert you. You think you're saying that, you're saying that didn't you saying that didn't change you? Cause they always say that they're trying to convert people. Well, that's good for you. I'm glad that you weren't. You said I thought it was normal. My aunt is a L word pastor. I don't know what I can say on here. A L word. Let's go. <laughs> Can I say lesbiana? I don't know. I'm not afraid to say these words. I just have to really watch what TikTok, like, what they flag, what words they flag. It's so hard. Um, but that's awesome. What a cool life to live, Stephen Duke. And that's awesome that you still have your identity. You, you have your kid. You're a hetero man living his best life with his wife or, or girlfriend. I don't know if it's your girlfriend. Are you guys married? Oh my gosh, somebody said some comments in this live were filtered to protect. I bet that was Holly Joe. Holly Joe, what did you say this time? Holly Joe. Holly Joe, you better say that again in a different way because they done filtered your comment, girl. They done filtered your comment, whatever you said. There's only a few people, few people in here who are my subscribers. By the way, thank you for the 2.4 thousand likes. But also, but <laughs> Holly Joe says I didn't say anything. It wasn't me this time. Ooh, are you saying it's Stephen Duke's fault? Is Stephen Duke over here with some some Twitter fingers over here on TikTok. You can't have Twitter fingers on TikTok. By the way, if you guys do want to communicate with me and you guys aren't subscribers, I don't judge you guys for not subscribing, but please subscribe if you want. But if you if you want to message me for free, go to one of my comments, go to one of my posts, comment under the post, and I will message you back. Every comment I respond to, you can ask anyone, I respond to every comment. Or you can DM me, but I think you can't, you can't DM me unless I follow you back, but anyway. Um, tell me to follow you, and then I'll decide if I want to follow you, and then you can message me. Um, all right, Holly Joe, wait, the Simber issue says, OMG, it was me. I said that sandwich is this, the, oh, oh, okay, so they thought you were saying something else. Okay. That's crazy that the word T-H-I-C-K could be a bad word. That's annoying. Come on, TikTok. God darn it. Here we go. Mm. Y'all, I'm 189 pounds. Who said that? Thank you, Mom. I'm on our way to 200. I'm going to stop right at 200 and be done. I'm going to just hover there with all muscle. That's a good way for me to stop that. I'm not trying to get Texas signs over here, which can definitely happen. It might happen, to be honest. I love food. Um, Stephen Duke says, I'm 205, lol. Oh my gosh, Stephen. That's ginormous. <laughs> Five pounds over my goal. <laughs> well, I might be 205 too. Maybe I'm, who knows what's gonna happen with the way I just want to be thick. I don't want to be. I don't want people to think that I'm on something. Come so thin. That's the main goal. 
I don't know if my sister or my mom told me that they thought they, I looked like I was on on that good powder on the slopes. And I said, how dare you guys? It probably wasn't them. It probably was one of y'all. Y'all are the rude ones. Not, not the ones that are my subscribers, but the ones that I used to let talk to me. Y'all probably told me that I looked like I was skiing the ski slopes. Oh my God, thank you, Magpie. Magpie, subscribe. Thank you, Magpie. Woo, new subscriber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should we do like a subscriber, like, um, what do we should do a subscriber? I'm sorry for all the subscribers that didn't get this. Let's start going forward. When we get a new subscriber, we're doing a subscriber, like, um, yeah, there we go. I like this. Woo, subscriber, new subscriber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Magpie? This is for all my subscribers. This is for you, Holly Joe. Subscriber. I love my subscribers. And we have Stephen Duke. What's up, subscribers? And December issue. I love my subscribers. So only, only when I talk. Give a little. She's over here reading me. I'm trying to get these filters to work. I have to talk in order for those filters to go. She said, go on subscribers. I love my subscribers. Go on subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh yes, I love my subscribers. I love, I love my subscribers. Is that better for you, Paris? Yep. Goodness. She's so judgmental, I love her. But I love her, I love her. Hold on, you guys. Who would I forget? December issues in here. It is another one that's like user, user no, and has like all these numbers behind their name. This That's for them too, but they're not here right now. Okay. Let me take these filters off because I'm gonna go crazy if I keep seeing these little people pop up behind my head. Um, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. This is just an appetizer, you guys, because my sister's making pho. She's making Vietnamese soup pho. This sandwich is amazing though. I'm surprised. Look how much bigger this bun is, you guys. We got scammed. Cause we actually got scammed, but these buns are like double the size of the ones that I got. The Bleo. Yep. Y'all saw the sandwich I had yesterday? Like, I already ate, ate part of this and it's still double the size of the sandwiches from yesterday. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's read some more comments. Hold on, you guys. Okay, Stephen Duke says, December issue, 10.5, LOL. What do you mean 10.5? Oh, what's your shoe size? Oh my gosh, I thought you were saying something else, Stephen Duke. I'm like, this is TikTok, sir. But 10.5 does mean something else too. Um, let's see, Magpie says, I was, I was on those slopes for years, nine years sober. <laughs> Congratulations, Magpie. I'm happy you're off the slopes. I'm happy you, you went to the ski lodge and said, I'm not gonna be going on the slopes anymore. I'm gonna chill here with some hot cocoa, you know? And you don't, you don't need to have any more slopes for you. But I really do honor that. I don't take it lightly. I know addiction is a real thing. My family has dealt with that too. Um, and I'm just happy for you. I'm happy, happy that you're alive and doing well. Um, being really honest, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a joke on that because I know addiction is serious, so. But um, I just don't want people to think that I'm on that because just because of my thinness, you know? So I'm gonna be 200 pounds, I'm gonna stay there. Thickety thick thick. And then I can twerk you guys, I'll be able to twerk for you guys. But I don't know if I can twerk on TikTok because they're gonna probably kick me off. But anyways, I can't twerk right now because I don't have enough to twerk with. But soon, I used to love, I used to love nose beer. Is that what that's called? I've mean, I never heard it called nose beer before. I'm just gonna skip that. Steven, I'm glad you've grown and now you have a child and now you're doing great and sober, I am hope. <laughs> I've never heard nose beer before. All right, um, have you, Paris, have you ever heard it be called, 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 called nose beer? I guess, you know what? I guess like beer does froth up at the top. Beer does froth up, so that's probably why you call it nose beer. 
All right, you guys. I'm just gonna like read a few more comments and then I'm gonna get off because I wanna hear my mom like she just got home. Well, she would be working in a second anyways. But anyway, let's see. Um, let's see, oh, the, Magpie says, yay, thanks for the thanks for the dance. You're welcome, Magpie. Um, Holly Joe is clapping and saying love to Magpie. Oh, that's so sweet. December issue says, this Kermit shirt is cute. I will be, will I be able to get that too, LOL? I will definitely be posting this shirt. Cause I love Kermit and stuff, but like, I just want to get a little photo shoot on it. And then I'm putting it right on the Rock Mercury closet site, which is already up, but, uh, but I don't have any closet items up there. But I do have, I just have a filler. Um, so it will, I'll be uploading photos to it, but it is up. It is finally up. I have it, I did all the work on the back end and got the page up and stuff. But I am thinking that I'm going to make one tab that says shop and then put the closet, the Rock Mercury collection, cause I have my own like my own merchandise for my Rock Mercury brand. Then I have the designs that I made for the World Collection, the, the Manhattan World Collection, using the photos from different cities. So that's gonna be a different one. So it'll be different collections in that instead of having them all on the top tab, because that might be more confusing for you guys. So we'll have like Rock Mercury Collection, World, Manha um, World Collection, um, Rock Mercury Closet, and I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else. That any other collections that I'm, I'm sharing on the, on the site. Um, all powered by Man Brand. Michael Durkin. But yeah, it'll be up there. Magpie says, LMA, uh, Stephen Duke, LMAO, nose beer. Yeah, that, I've never heard that before. And I've been around that situation very much, <laughs> especially in LA, it's everywhere in LA. But I'm thankful I don't like it. Um, people think I'm on it because I talk fast, but no. Um, is that, I've always talked fast. Right, Mom, haven't I always talked fast? Yes, sir. Always. That was your translator. She said she was my translator. Over here making it seem as if I'm a, a special patient or something. Yes, I was. No. I was, well, I was but I was. Of what you said. I was special enough to need multiple therapists. That did not work. But I'm here. Um, maybe they did work. I don't know. How do you know if therapy works or not? Well, I did it. Um, Magpie said, looks delicious. It's so good, you guys. Um, December issue says, wait, what's being on the slopes mean? I'm gonna let you figure that out yourself, December issue. You know, don't be love going on a beautiful snowy slope, snope and skiing on the slopes with all the nice powdery snow going everywhere. Just take that and you figure out what it means. Stephen Duke says, <laughs> December issue so innocent. I don't know if December issue is really innocent. Are you just trying to play with us? Um, Magpie says, thanks, I almost didn't make it. Oh, you see? Hey, I'm glad you're here. I am really am glad you're here because you, you can you can sure check out this world with that playing, playing on the slopes. That's for sure. Um, ain't no game. December issue says, I Googled. That's a trip, LMAO. Oh, you didn't know? You really didn't know? Okay. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's really sweet of you. I'm sorry, December issue. I, I thought you were trying to troll us. My bad, my bad, honey. Um, Pure Heart sent me a cat. <laughs> Thank you for the cat. Let's <laughs> talk about cats. Did you hear Azalea Banks um, cancel her, her um, what do you call it, her Australian tour because they didn't get her visa in time and she stayed at the airport for the whole day and they couldn't get her across? I'm just like, girl, there's always something. There's always something. And I'm not gonna blame her because she really does want to work. She loves you guys, she loves her fans. She does get screwed over a lot, but it's also like a certain point where it's like, girl, like people bought tickets for this and why, weren't, why wasn't that visa done before? But her manager messed her up this time. I don't know, this is always something. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. I'm just like, I know people aren't in Australia are very frustrating, frustrated with this because they waited for a long time to get her out there just for her to be on the way and they don't approve her, her, her visa till too late and there's no more flights. That should have been handled months before. But if it was my show, I'd be rescheduling. I would have had the visa confirmed at least two weeks before. I'd be going on a boat to get to Australia. 
That's the selling auto tickets. But she's she said she can back home to Florida to relax in her house because y'all then got her effed up. And she said she demands to get paid. Fair enough. It's their fault, but the fans suffer. And the fans seem to always suffer when it comes to Azalea. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm just saying that, like, she needs better people. She needs better people around her. And I can't really say that too much because she did ask me to be around her. But I, my mental health, <laughs> mm. it's a lot. When you work with Azalea, it's a lot of tumultuousness. And it's because she's an artist. Like, certain artists are the super... Um, they have a lot, they have a lot of activity happening. So I'll give her that. I mean, she is looking for those kind of people, but it's just, it takes a very special person to manage someone as um, eclectic as Azalea Banks. So I felt underqualified, extremely underqualified for that. So I'm not dissing her on that. I'm just saying I wish she did have somebody who was right for her and wasn't gonna get, get her in these predicaments. Cause I do believe she was trying to get there. But it just sucks to have another situation. It just looks really bad. So shout out to Azalea. Love you, girl. But dang, I'm sorry this is happening to you. And I'm sorry for the fans. Um, December issue says, crying, not not speaking of cats, and then talk about Azalea. Because y'all did that last time. I talked about Azalea last time. Y'all sent me all these cat emojis and cat gifts and stuff. Because she said she boiled a cat. She, said she never boiled the cat. Well, she did, but it wasn't to eat it. It was to get the skull. That's... We cleared that up. She did not eat that. She just did. She just wanted to keep it for her spiritual reasons. Whatever, no big deal. People do worse things. Mm. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm coming full. I'm gonna jump off of here. I chat with my mom. She's been on the whole time. Oh. I've been on all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I just realized. Uh, yesterday, too, we were walking. Like, my, um, my mom has a Santa hat. Santa hat on. And we went walking yesterday. I didn't realize until on the walk back that she had it on. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm like, what in the bro? But it was cute. She's in the Christmas spirit. Love it. The one you had on yesterday was better, though. It was a high quality one, right? Wasn't it thicker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one's like a little more discount, but still good. Um, December issue says, don't explain it. It, it makes it worse. Ooh. You know what? It's for the cat, it's like a cat situation. Y'all are so shady. All right, you guys, I'm gonna continue eating my food off camera, chat with my mama. Um, I know she'll be home early, so. Rock on, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate my new subscriber. Magpie, you're awesome. Thank you for being, coming back. Anyone who subscribes, I'm going to be doing that dance for you guys. Um, and I'm just very thankful to have you guys. But I'll be back possibly tonight. Maybe I'll do another session where I braid my hair and braid my beard. People have been asking, like, what is your hair routine? Why does this flow so much? Oh, my God, you look like you're, you look like you're, like, a Greek god or something. And I'm like, you know, it's braiding your hair and beard. And they asked me my skin routine, and it's shea butter, even though I look like I'm sweating all day. But nope, it's just shea butter. Make you glow. Um, essential oils, too. My best friend loves it, too. She's been using it. I sent, I sent her a package of it. Um, anyway, it's okay. Magpie sent me some hearts. Thank you, Magpie. You're so sweet. I'll be back. I gotta be back more often because so many y'all, so many subscribers now. I gotta make sure I show up for you guys. So um, I'll be posting this video and I'll see you guys soon. Rock on, Murphians. Bye. Stay hydrated, eat healthy, and be good people or whatever. Bye. And stay off the slopes. Stay off the ski slopes. No powdery slopes. Bye.